Hello Cowboys Nation, welcome to another video and without further ado, let's get to another round of news from America's team. Dak Prescott sends a clear message after Thursday's win. The Dallas Cowboys got a much-needed victory against the New York Giants to open NFL Week 4 on Thursday night football. It puts them at 2-2 and prevents them from falling further behind the Philadelphia Eagles and Washington Commanders in the NFC East. It wasn't Dallas' best performance, but it was enough to get the job done on a short week, and quarterback Dak Prescott sent a clear message afterward about where his team is at. It's a process. So we're not going to get complacent. We're not going to get overexcited about what we've done tonight. It's about building, Prescott said, via NFL on CBS. It's the right mentality to have, as this is only week four of the marathon that is the NFL season. Prescott had a workmanlike performance, going 22 for 27 for 221 yards and two touchdowns, making it two consecutive weeks with a pair of touchdowns and no picks. The Cowboys' offense hasn't been a huge problem so far but the win against the Giants was important because the defense needed to prove it could get stops. Dallas held New York out of the end zone and allowed just 26 rushing yards on 24 carries one week after getting obliterated to the tune of 274 yards on the ground thanks to Derrick Henry and Lamar Jackson of the Baltimore Ravens. The Cowboys have a tough Week 5 matchup at the Pittsburgh Steelers on Sunday Night Football and will need to bring the same run defense and offensive efficiency with them for that matchup. Cowboys' Micah Parsons suffers high ankle sprain, Demarcus Lawrence facing multi-week absence. The Cowboys earned an important win on Thursday night, but the team did suffer multiple injury scares on defense. Edge rusher Micah Parsons is dealing with a high ankle sprain, Ian Rappaport of NFL Network reports. The two-time All-Pro exited Dallas' win over the Giants late in the fourth quarter. X-rays taken after the contest came back negative, he said, via ESPN's Todd Archer. An MRI was taken on Friday, though, and it has confirmed a sprain. Rappaport adds Parsons' status is uncertain at this point. The worst-case scenario has certainly be avoided in this instance, but the possibility still remains for Parsons to miss time. Dallas has a 10-day break between games by virtue of playing on Thursday, which could prove to be highly beneficial. The 25-year-old indicated he intends to play in Week 5, but his progress in recovery over the coming days will of course dictate if that is possible. The news is not as encouraging in the case of fellow edge rusher Demarcus Lawrence. The four-time pro bowler exited last night's contest with a foot injury and did not return. Lawrence also underwent an MRI on Friday, and Rappaport's colleague Tom Pellicero reports a multi-week absence should be expected. As a result, at least one of Dallas' top two pass rushers will likely be sidelined until after the team's Week 7 bye. The Cowboys have totaled eight sacks this season, Lawrence and Parsons account for five of those. Especially with Sam Williams out for the year, depth along the edge will be a question mark with one, or potentially both, set to miss time. Dallas sits at 2-2 on the year, and a repeat of performances from the team's defense last night will be needed for momentum to build through the remainder of the campaign. That will be challenging if the unit is short-handed for a significant period. Parsons remains attached to his rookie contract, but negotiations on a monster extension will take place during the off-season. Lawrence, meanwhile, is one of Dallas' top pending free agents this spring, and his market could take a hit if he misses notable time. As the Cowboys consider their options for a mid-season rental addition, edge rush could become a position to watch. Cowboys predicted to add Silky Smooth Playmaker to replace Veteran The Cowboys' 2024 season has not quite been what was hoped, and that's true on just about every level. But what is especially troubling through three weeks of the season is that the wide receivers, 
which should have at least been a strength at the top of the roster, have been such an utter disaster. It's no surprise, really, to see the running backs have trouble for the Cowboys in the early going, considering how little attention and spending was given to that group this offseason. It's no surprise, either, to see the defense get lambasted in back-to-back -back weeks, especially in the running game, when there was not much investment there to fix 2023's glaring holes. But receivers. Weren't the Cowboys supposed to have at least one top five receiver, and some respectable spare parts around him? Sure, but that's not how things have panned out. Despite having given C.D. Lamb a four-year contract worth $136 million, making him the NFL's second-highest paid player at the position, the Cowboys do not currently have a receiver who ranks in the top half of the 112 receivers graded by Pro Football Focus each week. And that's something that the Cowboys, even if Lamb gets his act together over the next three-plus months, are expected to address when the 2025 NFL draft comes around. In its latest mock draft, CBS Sports projects that they'll do so in a big way, with Ohio State star Emeka Egbuka. Emeka Egbuka has improved as season has gone on. After a slow start, Egbuka has picked up as the season has gone on for the 3-0 Buckeyes, logging four catches for 51 yards against Akron in the opener, followed by 98 yards against Western Michigan. He had his best game of the season last week against Marshall, with five catches, 117 yards and his first touchdown of the season. As CBS writes in its round-robin draft, even after signing C.D. Lamb to a massive extension, they still have a ton of issues at the wide receiver position. Ohio State's Emeka Egboka could help Dak Prescott in a big way. Egboka is the number four rated wide receiver at Pro Football Focus and the number 25 prospect overall. He is coming back from a procedure known as a tightrope surgery on his left ankle, so he will need to show he hasn't lost his burst against better competition. As Bleacher Report wrote of Egboka in a scouting report for the 2024 draft, Emeka Egboka is a silky smooth operator out of the slot. He's the kind of player who can be the glue for a passing offense. Egboka is a good not great athlete, but he makes the most of his attributes. Although his long speed is average, Igbuka can often still win on vertical routes because of his first 10 yards.